Hello, people. Ding, 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 ding. We're clearing the energy. I just made a hundred cards. I made a hundred cards sitting here in the silence. I wasn't listening to anybody. I sat here and used my intuition to give you another good story, okay, you all? And nobody has my permission to copy my cards and my work. This is my intuition, okay? And you can sense when others take what you've created. You can sense it, and I know it, and it's okay, but nobody's taking this because I claim you can't. And I love y'all, and for all my loyal subscribers and recent subscribers, I appreciate you, and I hope I can give you a message that it makes sense to you today because I know I'm going to, and I appreciate you. So this is for the collective. Let's go, let's see what's going on in the collective at the moment, and I can do collective readings because I noticed that I'm helping the collective and I've been gaining a lot of subscriptions from it, and I appreciate it, and, and I've had faith this whole time. I had faith in the divine, and I put it all in the divine's hands two two years ago, and, and that's what I did, and, and now I'm just, I'm doing it, and I'm going after my goals and dreams, and I hope y'all do the same, you all, and I love you, and I, I appreciate you all, and I just, I just want to uh, give you something that'll help you and and i hope that you can grow from it I, anything and i don't and if you all get mad i don't um i don't want you all to um don't let these readings make you mad because sometimes you'll hear readings and they'll make you mad and i'm not trying to make any of us mad i'm just trying to help all of us okay and because uh energy is fluid and it changes around and um this old energy, even for people that's died you all, it's still out running around on this earth, and I want that to be made clear. Just because your body dies, your energy doesn't die. That's what I'm teaching us. I'm an energy healer teacher, and that's what I'm meant to do, and I'm here to do this for you, for all of you all, okay? And I just hope I can give us a message that'll help us, and we'll go from there. And let me get one or two more, and then I'll do another little reading. Cause I'm going to get off here, y'all. I've been, I've been working on these cards today, and I'm uh, working on my channel, and um, I got a lot of stuff to do, y'all. And I got to get up and do it, okay? And I put everybody's signs in here, so whatever pulls out, that's that's who the collection needs to be uh, focusing on, okay? All right, so here we go, you guys, and we'll see what it says, okay? Because I don't want to pull them all out today. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay, so there's somebody out here and you're not listening to your intuition. They don't listen to their intuition. Well, your intuition will... Um, when your intuition is guiding you, your guts is going to start bubbling and bubbling and brewing up inside of you. And that's what your intuition is, women. And men, I think we're waking up these divine masculines to what their intuition is. When your guts is hurting and telling you you need to listen to your intuition, and that's your feelings. What's your feeling you need to go after it? Are you listening? But somebody isn't listening, and somebody just wants to do coke and play with you in a bedroom. See, this person, 333, we know how to manifest, and that person doesn't. And this person only wants to do coke and play with you in a bedroom, whoever's listening to me meth whatever kind of speed they get off on okay and and uh libra uh you, you know you're balancing your masculine and feminine energies you're a, you're a divine feminine that's why and uh okay so you're some that's balanced and it could be a libra wants to do drugs with you or it could be a virgo and you know you're analyzing your perfections this is what virgos do so there, there's a virgo analyzing that you're balancing your masculine and feminine energies and they know that you don't want to do uh, cope with them and play in a bedroom anymore because they're, they're, they're not listening to their intuition. And they can't stop watching you. They can't stop watching you now, this person, whoever it is. It could be both of these people. And uh, somebody that you went out to eat with, this person, that's the person that wants to do this with you in a bedroom, do coke and drugs. And you're balanced in your masculine and feminine, and there's an Aries, and you you got a lot of fiery energy, and this uh, Aries is, uh, you're teaching them about how they need to be balanced in their masculine and feminine both sides. If you're a man, you still got woman energy in you, in, in you, and that's your intuition, you need to listen to it. 
and um, this Virgo could be saying that you are smart and you are caring and you are loved. Oh, I love you, Virgos. I love you, Aries. I love you, Libras. And I want y'all to listen to your intuitions. And and uh, whoever this person is that doesn't listen to their intuition, they can't stop watching you. And they could have poisoned your dogs. It says they might have poisoned your dogs. So if y'all had a dog got sick, it's this person that just wanted to do drugs with you. And it says, want to go see what I have planned for us? Ooh, this person that wants that you eat with before. They want to see... They want to uh, show you what they got planned for you now. Oh, did you hear that? And uh, it could be, uh, Libra, that this Aries is worried about going to court with these people. Because they've been analyzing what you've been talking about. And you're somebody that's very loving and caring. And can I have one more? So it'll be balanced out here. I all about balance. Let's see what this one says. It said... It said, uh, you tried, your cousin tried to sneak around with your man or woman, so it could be Virgo. Your cu uh, uh, a cousin tried to mess around with a Virgo. That's what it's saying right now, okay? And I'm going to say these over here on top. So uh, this person uh, needs to uh, listen to what I'm telling them about their intuition. No, I'm not doing drugs with any of you all if y'all think so or not. And somebody that's worried about going to court, ain't no use to worry about it. If you gotta go to court, you, that's just what you gotta do. And it could be his cousin is uh, thinking that you're gonna have to go to court with them. And if you do, oh well, I mean, you, that's just what'll happen. You know what? That's just what happens, you guys. You can't, man, you can't help it if that's what, if that's what it is. I mean, that's what's gonna happen. It's about your beliefs, I just see it, your journey on your beliefs. Spirit, what is it we need to talk about today? What is it we need to talk about today? With, uh, the collective. Collective. What's collective need to know? Adjudication. Worried about court. They can't stop thinking about it. You might be uh, having to go to court with some somebody you're married to in the distant horizon. It flipped. It flipped over. So I'm gonna take it. So. In the distant horizon, you're going to, have to go with, go to court with somebody that you might be in a have been in a relationship with, or it might have been that cousin. Oh, and what it said is it might be with this mature man. It might be with this older man. Now I don't know what they did to you. You could be going through a divorce, or you could be that you worked with this man and they might have sexually harassed you. I don't know, but. You'll, you've got to fit the story how it is. It's whoever this ma mature man is. But the thing is, you're going to receive a great fortune. You are a person that's listening to me, person that's balanced and living right. Oh, it could be uh, with a, a cancer. It could be with a cancer, uh, a mature man and a cancer. This is about attitudes from the past, uh, things that these people did to you in the past, the history with these people. This is about, you know, you know how to use your intuition to protect you and your feelings. And, and that's what you're teaching people, I guess, maybe. But it's somebody from your past. It's somebody from your past, and you might still be connected to them, and they're a down thief. Look, they're a thief. This person is a thief. Uh, and they're stealing your uh, money or creative ideas or they're stealing something from you at the moment and f it's it's in the first house they're stealing things from your house the way I'm reading this this thief is um, uh, it says immediately this is about the way that you project yourself and how you do it your own way this is Aries this is about who you are and your desires and your actions. So it's telling me right now that you're going to have to uh, go to court with a mature man that you know. And it's pertaining to a Cancer and an Aries. Or it could just be somebody that's in your family. Okay? It could just be somebody that's in your family. Alright. Collective. Um, I don't know what I want to... Let me get out some of my cards down here, you guys. I used a few days. Well, in a day or two. Let's see what 
what it says. I thank you all for joining my channel, all you recent subscribers. I welcome you and I love you and I hope I can help you. So whoever this is you gotta go to court with, this is somebody that you set boundaries with. Uh, and it could have been your partner because it says when you set boundaries with your partner and they keep on crossing the line that you draw, maybe you should rethink this partnership. So this could be a a business partner or a partner in life. You you gotta take in the take it as it is. You're an empath and you can feel everybody's energy. And you're somebody that can talk about these narcissists and how you're treated by them and, and maybe Maybe that mature man is upset because things is coming out from the past or something. I have a feeling that's what it is. And and, and your spirit guides warned you of this uh, older lady in your house while you was at work. You could feel their energy. You could feel their energy. And, and, and uh, yeah, you could have. And it could have been a cancer or Aries that was in your house. Uh, and you felt this. And you told your person about it. And you said, now listen, I don't want the motherfucker in my house. And that's what you did. And this person is holding a grudge against you. They think it's your fault and that they didn't do nothing to hurt you. This person is holding on tight to your energy. And it could be this older person that's holding on tight because she knows that you're going to receive a great fortune. And uh, you're teaching pe people about uh, how to listen to their intuition and their feelings on the inside of themselves. And that's how you show up to people. If you're sounding like an asshole to other people, you need to clean up your insides. And you, you and listen, learn to be sympathetic to yourself and calm yourself by tapping on your chest ten times. And then, then you'll come back to a calm state and uh, and tell yourself, "I'm safe, I'm loved, and okay." And do this every morning. And you're teaching people about this, okay? And 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 don't worry about what's going on or if you gotta go to court. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. But there's a thief around, and and, and you're real with with all these people you come in contact for, and they're admiring you, and they're admiring you enough to steal from your wealth. Somebody is going to steal from you. Um, they admire your qualities. And this Aries, if you got rejected from an Aries, all that rejection was for your protection and angels got you wrapped up in their arms. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that rings true over here and, and that's good, you know. And uh, that's how, you know, I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to receive great wealth from all this because I, I set my boundaries with a bunch of people, you all, and I hope y'all do the same. Don't let people in your energy that's just out to hurt and harm you. Don't do that. Don't do it, you guys. And, oh, and now this person wants you to accept, this person that rejected you now, they, they want you to accept their offer of love. Uh, imagine that, imagine that. But, you know, that's up to you, you all. That's up to you if you all want to do it. That's, there's nobody else that can, that can do anything but you guys, okay? see what one of these is that comes out today. Could be going through an ending since that card was stuck right there. It could be going through an ending with somebody out here. I don't know you all. Um, what mother? You, you might have set boundaries with your mother out here, someone out here. You know, or, or you're, it's just telling you that, you know, you 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 uh, have unconditional love and patience. You're a good mother. You're a good mother empath. And and spirits has always helped you, and, and you're so appreciative of it. And I thank you, spirit guides, and I love you so much. And do y'all love my rooster feather? I found it yesterday at 122, and I appreciate it, spirit, that message. Ooh, an athlete, and you know, this is dedication to transcending physical limits, including handicaps, development of personal willpower, and strength of spirit. So, mother, you, you might be helping people that has handicaps, and they love you, you know, and uh, they, you're somebody that knows how to transcend your physical limits. Uh, you're guiding, you're guiding these people, and 
and you know this represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself you're just you're just trying to guide others to have the personal willpower and strength to get their goals and things done and look you're a child divine and this is innocence purity and redemption suggests a special connection with the divine so you know you're somebody that can talk about how people treated you and what they didn't know is that God would place you down in a place and tell you to sit still and not go anywhere so you would get redeemed. So all these people who hurt and harmed you, you're going to get redeemed for it. So don't worry. Uh, you're going to get redeemed for it. Who hurt child divine? Who hurt child divine spirit? Who, who is it in here who hurt child divine? Oh, it's it's a it's a avenger. It's somebody that resorted to violence. So this person that was violent with you and keeping you, they was preventing you um, from leaving from them. They might have put you in victim mentality mode and prevented you from letting yourself be. And, and when you're in light, it prevents you from letting yourself be victimized or victimizing others. And in the dark, it would be playing the victim for positive feedback in the form of pity inability to maintain personal boundaries so see it's in the dark both of this is it's avenger and victim you set boundaries with these people and and because you know this person was violent and that's why the narcissists come out because narcissists are mean and they'll beat the hell out of you and shit and they'll they'll make you feel like a piece of shit y'all know this right and your spirit guide uh, told you that they might have fucked this cancer in your house or this Aries in your fucking house and that person they're holding a grudge against you and you're trying to teach them how to be sympathetic and tell their truth and everything be all right but the, but now uh, they're, they're they're admiring you for how you you're real with everybody now they're they're admiring you and and all that rejection was for your protection and now this person wants you to offer to accept their offer of love okay so that's up to you all. I'm not telling you what to do, but if you already set a boundary for that person, you got to be wise enough to know if you want them in your energy right now because you changed into a different person, all right? So I'd advise you to really think good and hard before you let somebody back into your life that might have been just wanting to use you, wanting to use you for your money. Because you know there'll be people wanting to come around you when you receive a great fortune. You know this, right? You know this, right? I know this, and I know this. Oh, and it says, oh, embrace. It says, embrace what destiny has in store for you. That's what you're doing at the moment, person that's listening to me. You're just, you're just saying, whatever destiny has in store for me, I embrace it. And I thank you, Spirit. And I'm going to embrace it, and I'm going to just love every little bit of it. And, and notice everything remarkable about your relationships, okay? So there's wedding bands, and maybe you got a remarkable, you got a remarkable husband that has put up with a bunch of shit, or you might have a remarkable wife that has, that um, that can teach you, and you're learning from her. Or you might, let's see what else it says. What else does it say, Phil? What else? Embrace remarkable. Oh, you all have obstacles. It says look for ways around obstacles to find happiness. Okay, so maybe you and your person uh, went around all these obstacles and you still love each other. <laughs> oh, wow, what it said. It said trust that your connection is, it, it says trust. You need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish. So all them obstacles made you trust what you had. Ain't that something? Yeah, it did. I trust that my connection is eternal and unbreakable yeah but this is me and my old man our, our our relationship is eternal and unbreakable nobody can break it you all and everybody that i've ever come in contact with they've always been somebody try to break mine and my husband's relationship all oh, and rejoice it says embrace your loving connection and rejoice and that's what you're doing that's what you're doing and that's what you guys need to do out here just enjoy enjoy it that person that spirit has led you to enjoy that person okay and don't let them get out of your side if you love them you better tell them you better tell them your feelings now you all let me get you a, let me get you an angel message of mine and then i'm gonna get off here i'm having a hot flash you all 
I'm having a hot flash and I'm about to burn up. It feels like I'm about to pass out. And it says, excuse my hairdo. Oh, it said that your angels bless you when when they made your hands to heal many. Your hands are a treasure to many people and they work miracles in others' lives. And this is my idea. Nobody has my permission to copy my angel gifts. Are you listening? Nobody out here does. I've got 81 cards and they're all mine. Oh, and what else does it say? Your hands is a miracle and people love it. Oh, and they said you're magical, licious. Oh, your angels gave you a gift of bringing magic back to dying relationships. You have magical powers within yourself and it heals the hearts of many people. You can get over anything with your partner that you're married to. You know that, right? You all could went through cheating, lying, beating, drug use, all that, and you can come out on top and rise above. And if you're, if you're like that, then you go ahead and you hit a little like and subscribe because I'm with you and I love you. And, and you can. And some of these people don't think you can, but listen. You can you, you if you want it. If you want it, you can. Okay? And yeah, I hope I can bring back some life to your all's dying relationships because, you know, if you if you don't want it to die, you got to bring in a little spice. You know it? And your angels gave you gift to understand and feel if it's time to go and leave a certain situation, then listen to spirit and angels and leave the situation. So see, if you're not meant to be with that person, the angels will guide you. So pay attention to when you get them little intuition now. Well, it's the one I'm telling you. Oh, and success, achievement, and growth will be bestowed upon you because of your positive thinking and affirmations. And you got the confidence to take action, and you will soon be back together with your twin. And you have to finish a stage of personal growth before coming back together. That's if you see 1818, that's what it means, okay? And your angels gave you a gift to realize how much you can benefit by counting your blessings daily. By counting your blessings each day, you will get your heart's desires. Trust. Trust, count your blessings, be grateful for the light switches, be grateful for tiny things in your life. And keep your hope and faith alive, keep going, and don't worry what people say about you. Pay attention to what bosses are saying and doing, and learn from them. And open up to divine light and spirit, and you're on your right path with your twin flame, and you're reaping the rewards of all your hard work. And it's starting to show up in your life when you see 717. That's what it means to you guys. And I hope this helps somebody out here today. And if it does, you can hit a little like, subscribe, and share. And I appreciate you. And uh, and your angels gave you gift, gave you the powers to make people understand how it feels when you've been crapped on by many people that you've encountered. Yeah, I've got this. I've got this gift. And and that's what that's how that's how i'm reaching all you people with that gift right there because i can tell you how i've been crapped on in my life and that's how i'm a guide and, and i can teach you and i love my family and i love you people if you've got handicaps i love y'all and i hope somebody takes care of you all well and and i just hope i can guide you all to uh to that divine child that's in all of us okay and get away from these people that's violent towards you and put you in victim mentality mode and they don't want you to have nothing. But get get away from people like that, all right? Well, I hope this helps you all out there today, you all. And I love you very much and I thank you and I appreciate you more than you'll know. And I wish that you all receive your all's heart's desires when you go after your own goals. It'll happen. Trust me. Trust. Trust. That's how you get it. Peace.